Hey guys. So today we are going to talk about cause and effect. And if you remember, cause and effect is when one thing happens and it causes something else to happen. So like if I go outside and it's raining and I don't have an umbrella, what's going to happen? So because I went outside while it was raining, I got, I got wet. So because I'm hungry, what do I need to do? I need to go eat something. So we're going to read a book, Once Upon a Time Online. And we've read this book before, but I liked it so much. And it has really good examples of cause and effect. I decided we were going to read it again. So it says, Once Upon a Time Online, Happily Ever After is Only a Click Away. Once upon a time, not long ago, a boy named Jack watched a bean stalk grow. He started to climb it, but from somewhere up high, a tightly wrapped package fell from the sky. <gasps> it's a present, thought Jack. He untied the st string and inside discovered a flat, shiny thing. What are you? Jack asked, and what do you do? He ran off to look for someone who knew. He found Cinderella with bucket and mop. I know, she declared. It's called a laptop. Cinders threw down her mop, and before Jack could stop her, she became the first fairy tale online shopper. So, because Jack showed her the laptop, she became the first very the first online fairy tale shopper. Let's see what else we can find. It can do lots of stuff, but the best thing of all, with this laptop's help, I shall go to the ball. Then Little Red Riding Hood peeped around the door. I've outgrown my cloaks. I could do with some more. She sat down and ordered two red cloaks with hoods and a phone just in case she got lost in the woods. Soon Rapunzel swept in with her hair piled high and exclaimed, oh, There is something I just have to buy. The three little pigs dropped in looking for sticks and quickly bought straw and a truckload of bricks. So because Jack has shown the laptop to all these fairy tale creatures, what are they doing? They're buying things. <gasps> then the big bad wolf with a huff and a puff pushed his way in and said, that's enough. You've had all had a turn to the laptop is mine and I'm going to use it for gaming online. <gasps> Early the next morning. Hooray, they all cheered when all of the things they had ordered appeared. So because they ordered things online, they got shipped to their house. Cinderella got ready and went to the ball without needing her fairy godmother at all. So because Cinderella bought things on the laptop, the effect was she didn't need her fairy godmother go to the ball. Hmm. With the help of her cell phone and a clever new app, Red Riding Hood set out to follow a map. The little pig's houses were built on the double. Wolf was too busy gaming to cause any trouble. So because the big bad wolf over here, where is he? Where's the pigs? Because the big bad wolf is so busy playing games online, what is he not going to go do? He's not going to go huff and puff and blow the little pig's house down. And Rapunzel didn't have to let down her hair. She just turned on her tablet and the prince was right there. So they all lived happily ever after. Until... Cinderella was given a very long bill. So because she bought things online, the effect was you have to pay for them. So she got a bill. 
Then the three pigs got bored and started complaining that life was too dull when the wolf was just gaming. So because the wolf is busy playing games, the effect is the pigs are bored. And Red Riding Hood, busy watching her screen, walked into some brambles that she should have seen. So because Little Red Riding Hood was so busy looking at her phone, the effect was she walked into these brambles. All right. Help, cried Rapunzel from up in her tower. My tablet's not worked for over an hour. And the big bad wolf didn't know what to do when the giant wanted to play in the laptop too. Oh, I wish we'd never ever seen a laptop. Someone please, please make it all stop. So are the fairy tale creatures starting to learn about cause and effect in a way they might not like? Hmm. Suddenly, ping, out of thin air, Cinderella's own fairy godmother was there. Don't worry, she said. All will be fine, but you must ask a grown up before going online. Hmm. So because the fairy tale creatures didn't ask permission, the effect is, they did some things that got them in trouble, and now they need help. With a wave of her wand, the bill went away. Fairy godmothers are allowed to use magic to pay. Now, children, she said, you've only begun to discover online. Time to have fun. So the fairy godmother came and helped Cinderella out with her cause and effect, didn't she? Yeah, she made Cinderella's big bill go away. She showed Rapunzel new styles for her hair. And taught the wolf that it's good to share. Wolf said, I guess gaming together is fun, even though Little Red Riding Hood won. While Jack and the Giant worked on two screens to make a home movie called Our Magic Beans. Now, when going online for something or other, everyone checks first with the fairy godmother. The fairy tale folk are all feeling just fine, living happily ever after online. The end. All right. So there were a lot of instances of cause and effect in this book, weren't they? So because Cinderella bought all that stuff online, she got a really big bill. Because Little Red Riding Hood wasn't paying attention, she walked straight into a bush full of thorns. So cause and effect. One thing happens and causes something other to happen. So just like the example I gave, if it's raining and I go outside without an umbrella, what's going to happen? I'm going to get wet. So because it's raining and I don't have an umbrella, I'm going to get wet. All right, now I want you to see if you can come up with your own examples of cause and effect. Bye, guys.